हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अ न्यू एपिसोड ऑन लर्न रिएक्ट इन दिस एपिसोड वी टेक अ लुक एट डायनामिकली क्रिएटिंग रिएक्ट कंपोनेंट्स इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वी सॉ हाउ वी कैन यूज मल्टीपल कंपोनेंट्स एंड द रिजल्ट वॉज दैट वी क्रिएटेड एन एप कंपोनेंट एंड अ लिस्ट कंपोनेंट विच वॉज डिस्प्लेइंग अ लिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट फ्रूट्स The first thing that I want to like to do is refactor this so that instead of li over here, we can wrap this up into an li component. So I'll replicate fruit list, and instead I'll create a list element, which should be returning a simple single li. component given the data so we can use this list element in the same way how we use we are, we are using fruit lists and we can specify list element pass in the data so that it display starts displaying the apple I'll just replace all of these so we now have a fruit list container so instead of fruits list we can give it a generic name called as lists it has named fruits and it is displaying these elements which are being passed to the list element now instead of these elements having static data i would like to pass this data from this list and based on top of that data i would like to dynamically create these elements so i'll be passing an array of values to be used for creating our elements take a note of how i am passing this array within curly braces now we can check that we have finally received these props or no and our console says that we have received this this array so the next thing that we would like to do is loop over these this data and then dynamically create these list elements react provides us with map helper and we can use map over this data prop to loop over this array so for this particular map all i need to do is pass in an iterator which will be iterating over all the elements and this iterator will be creating the list element dynamically So now we have apple, orange, and banana, which is being passed from here. Let's clear this three elements out. So now we have everything in place. We have our main component, which is displaying the list. In our list, whatever is being passed into data, it is being looped over by using map. where we are providing an iterator and which is creating the list element dynamically so in order that react identifies every list element which is created dynamically and to keep track of elements distinctly we need to pass a key key property on top of this element over here we can just pass an i 
which is the index of this helper element. If we don't pass the key, it will just throw in a warning. So that's it for this episode where we have created an app, a list, and we're looping over dynamic values, dynamic array of uh, array list of fruits, and then creating a list. That's it. Thank you for watching.